This wash has been made using the Grainfather and a 7kg grain bill. Once your wash has fermented and the specific gravity has been stable for two consecutive days, it is important to clear your wash with Still Spirits Turbo Clear before transferring to your boiler. First add part A and vigorously stir. Let it sit for one hour. Then add part B and carefully stir on the top of the wash to not disturb the clearing process. Then leave again for 24 hours. After 24 hours, transfer the cleared wash into your boiler using a siphon. Be careful not to disturb the settled yeast and proteins at the bottom of the fermenter. To assemble the Alembic pot still setup, first attach the condenser to the dome by screwing in the column plug and screw tightly. Next, attach your water supply tube, your water outlet hose, and the spirit outlet hose. Add one packet of Still Spirit Ceramic Boil Enhancers and three capfuls of distilling conditioner to your wash. Attach your Alembic pot still setup to your boiler. Secure the lid using the four clips located on the boiler. Next, place the temperature probe into its slot at the top of the condenser and turn it on. Turn your control box on to boil. Place a five litre glass carboy underneath the output. Once the temperature probe shows 55 degrees Celsius, it is time to turn on the cooling water supply. The spirit should begin to slowly drip out shortly after. For the stripping run, we are collecting all of the output. This is the first step in refining the wash into a final spirit. When the spirit begins to come out at a larger volume, you should check on the flow rate of the cooling water supply. If the spirit is coming out too hot, the flow rate should be increased to ensure the spirit is coming out at a safe temperature as close to 20 degrees Celsius as possible. We will collect all of the output from this run in the same large vessel until the output ethanol percentage is 20% ABV. This will be when the temperature probe reads around 98 degrees Celsius. Before transferring the stripping run output back into the clean boiler, it is important to check the ethanol percentage is less than 40% ABV. Add the ceramic boil enhancers again there's no need for any distilling conditioner during this step. Reattach the Alembic pot still set up and turn the control box on to boil again and wait for the contents to heat up. Once the vapour temperature reaches 55 degrees Celsius, it's time to turn on the cooling water supply. The spirit should begin to slowly drip out shortly after. The first 200 mils is the four shots. This can be collected in any vessel as long as you're sure to discard the contents and rinse the vessel well. After the four shots are over, we're into the head section of distilling. We will collect this section in multiple small 150ml containers to be used for blending later. Place one of the small vessels underneath the output tube. It is a good idea to label the vessel with H1, H2, etc. to help us with our blending later on. Collect the spirit in these small containers until the vapour temperature reads 85 degrees Celsius. The head section is now complete and it's time to start collecting the hearts. All of the hearts is good spirit, so collect this into the 5 litre glass carboy. Continue collecting the hearts until the output ethanol percentage is 55% ABV, or the temperature is 90 degrees Celsius. It is now the tail section of distilling, and should collect the spirit output in small vessels exactly like was done for the heads. Continue to do this until the vapour temperature reaches around 95 degrees Celsius. The good part of the tails will be collected by now, and the rest of the tails can continue to be collected in a single large vessel. These tails can be added to a future stripping run to increase your yield, if you desire. Once the vapour temperature is 98 degrees Celsius, or the output is below 20% ABV, then turn the boiler off. Wait for the contents to cool to a safe temperature before discarding them. You now have the heads and tails in small bottles, and the hearts in one large container. Now it is time to blend. The easiest way to blend is to taste the different fractions and add the ones you like the taste of to your hearts. You can keep the ones you don't like to use in your next stripping run. The heads contain a lot of the harsher flavours, but also contain a large amount of ethanol and some desirable flavours. The flavours slowly progress through being the sweet, smooth spirit of the hearts into a vegetal, wet cardboard-like taste. 
The end of the tails is really not nice tasting, but some fractions before this can contribute some really nice flavours into the spirit. Measure the ethanol percentage of the final spirit and water it down to 50% ABV if needed. Once the spirit is watered down to the required percentage, you can add your chosen oak aging ingredients. The flavour will take 2-4 to four weeks to be fully extracted, but you can taste it periodically in this time and remove from the oak if you like the taste. Your whiskey will mellow and smooth out over time, but you can drink it at any time. Enjoy.